Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this little cartoon guy here, and uh, we're gonna be using some of some different tools today that we haven't used before here. Um, but a lot of tools we've already used here. So first tool we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, to make the outline of this guy. He's a pretty simple shape. Uh, so we're gonna use our pin tool. Remember with the pin tool, you wanna start in an area. I like to start on like a flat side here. So I'm gonna start like right up here at the top and just kind of draw out my character here. And remember you can adjust your handle of your character. I'm gonna switch this from a fill to a stroke here and then just kind of change the color. That way I can see what's happening. And I can use my Alt key to adjust my handles um, after I make this. So I'm just gonna go around and do this and adjust my handle there. Uh, remember you can always adjust your handles after you make them too. There's uh, your direct selection tool, which works really well for that. There's also your um, uh, Bezier tool, which works really well for that. And then you can always use like your smooth tool to adjust your handles as well, or to adjust your path as well here. Okay, and remember with the pin tool, it just takes some time. I'm gonna press Alt right there. It just takes some time to kind of get used to it and get a feel for it here. Um, so here's my stroke. I can adjust my stroke. I'm gonna give this kind of a thicker line here. And then I'm gonna add, change my shape using one of these tools. I always think that it creates a more interesting shape. And then I'm also gonna grab my width tool to adjust the width of my uh, stroke here. So I'm gonna grab that. Uh, so we're with the width tool. If I select this line, I can make this bigger or smaller. Not for sure why that's not letting me select it here. Maybe I need to select it with the tool. I'm not for sure why it's not letting me select my width. That's really weird. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I'll just use my oval tool and then I will increase my stroke, but that's just really strange. Usually my width tool, I can adjust this. I'm not for sure why it's not working. Yeah, it works there. Not for sure why it won't work here. Anyway, that's really strange. Uh, and then I will kind of smooth this out. So I'm just gonna grab my smooth tool and smooth this out. Just get a nice kind of clean line here, make this nice and smooth. Remember with the smooth tool, you kind of draw it and it will do a couple things. It will delete anchor points and then also smooth things out as well. And sometimes you kind of have to guide it and tell it where you want it to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit, grab this, kind of bring this down. I can always adjust my handles too, so if I wanna bring my handle down like that, I can do that. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Um, I do wanna smooth this part out here, like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now what I can do is uh, I can start to make my shadows and stuff like that. Um, so remember I'm working on these two layers here. I'm working on this top layer here. So I can start to make my shadows. I can do that a couple different ways. Um, one way is I could use my blob brush and make my shadows here. Um, another way is I could use my uh, shape builder tool to do that as well here. So I think I will uh, just use my blob brush here. Um, and then I'm actually gonna fill this in with this blue here. I've got a transparency on this and I'm gonna draw some other stuff before. I'm gonna grab my blob brush here. Um, and I'm gonna use adjust my bracket keys and make my bracket a little bit bigger here. Uh, and then it's got my oval brush here. So I'm actually just gonna use this and keep that. Actually, I'm going to step backwards, make that just a little bit smaller. So I've got the three point oval, and then I'm just going to trace along uh, 
Then we're with the blob brush. If you select the shape that you just made and then grab your brush, it will connect those and make those all the same line here. Whoops. Oh, whoops, it's applying it to there. That's interesting, okay. Let's go back here. Um, I can also connect this using my shape builder tool as well. So, which is what I'll probably do. So I'll select both these, hold my shift key, and then I'll grab my shape builder tool and just make those all one single piece. And then just kind of smooth these out here with my shape builder tool. trying to apply my other stroke here. Remember you can always adjust to uh, your tool. So remember if you double click on the tool, you can adjust uh, like how much it smooths, some of those other things as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna connect all these pieces. I'm gonna hold shift, select all these individual pieces here, grab my sh um, shape builder tool, and I'm just gonna connect all these guys together. Like that. <clears throat> and then I'll grab my smooth tool and smooth these out. I think I will actually group all of these here so that they're all together like that. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some highlights here as well. It looks like I forgot a shadow. I'm using my eyedropper tool, which is uh, I on the keyboard here. Okay, and then same thing. I'm gonna make some shadows or some highlights. I mean, so I'm just gonna grab the same tool and use the same brush here and create some highlights. Multiply. We'll see how that looks when I fill everything in. And then do I need, I might do some other, do some other highlights uh, on some other parts here. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to make some of these other features here. So um, I am gonna just grab my oval tool and create some ovals here for my eyes. And before I fill this, I'll just do this as a stroke uh, to make my other pieces. Before I do this though, what I also want to do is I like kind of the shapes of these. They're kind of like odd shapes. So I can also adjust these. So I'm going to go up to my effect pan, my effect window 
and I'm going to go to stylize, whoops, stylize up here, or no, I'm going to warp here. I'm going to go to warp, and then inside here, you have a bunch of different options. If I just click on this, I'll get this window that, open up, that opens up, and then here under style, it's got these little diagrams right next to this, uh, and it kind of shows you what each one does here. So uh, I think I will try kind of like, let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, I'm going to do squeeze and then you can change like vertical or horizontal or you can change kind of like how much it bends. Okay. You want to make sure that you've got preview uh, selected here and we can kind of adjust that. So I actually kind of like that. I want it to be not quite like perfect shape here. Okay. And then I'm going to just do the same thing, use the same shape, and then just kind of adjust this shape to fill in here. Okay, and then same thing. Uh, I'm holding Alt to make copies here. I could also do like Control C, um, but if you hold your Alt key, you can. It's just a little bit quicker here. Okay, and I like that. It's just like a little bit more of an interesting shape than just like, you know, a regular oval. I could also use like my blob brush, which could be kind of cool. We'll see what that kind of makes. And I'll just kind of fill that in. Kind of mess it up at the end there. I actually kind of like that too. I can always adjust to like, the blob brush, same thing. Kind of grab my smooth tool and do that. I can always like make a shape and then use like my blob brush on top and do that. Oops. Okay. Uh, so I want these to fill in with black. So. Get rid of the white fill and then just have a black fill. And these are going to be just white here. Okay. And then let's do the same thing. Let's grab our I could always use um, some of my distort tools that we used earlier. So I could grab like my warp tool, you know, and maybe I want to kind of warp this a little bit, which I kind of like. Same thing. I just want to make like kind of an interesting shape, you know, that's not the same, not as just like a circle. So I'm just going to kind of grab that and make kind of like a funky little shape. Okay. And then last thing, and then we're going to make our mouth here and we're going to use our width tool. Cause I don't think it was working because I had added that uh, stroke line to it. So then I should be able to use that here. Yeah, that must've been it. So remember with the width tool, let me kind of zoom in and then you can kind of see what's happening. I actually want to bring this line up a little bit more. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, my Bezier tool, and do that. So if I zoom in, and let me change the color too, that'll make it easier for you guys to see. Um, so with the width tool, you can adjust the line here. So if I grab this, I can make parts of this thicker. I also want to add an end cap here just looks cleaner. So then I can adjust this. And I'm just not having luck with the width tool. It's not working for me. I guess it won't, won't not let me adjust this line after I've already adjusted it. Okay. I don't know. No luck with the width tool for me today. It's not doing what I want it to do. 
I think I can only adjust it once. Um, but that's okay. We'll keep going here. So then I'm going to grab my Bezier tool and I'm going to make these teeth here. Step backwards. Didn't mean to step backwards that much. I just want to make this curve here. Okay, and then grab my width tool. Grabbing the wrong tool, that's why. Gosh. There we go. I was totally grabbing the wrong tool, not paying attention. You know, I can pull out. So if you see that little this little line here, I can grab these handles. Yeah, gosh, I was grabbing the wrong tool. Can't believe I was doing that. I want to make this just like a little bit bigger. I was grabbing the rotate tool, and that's why it wasn't working. Shocker. So the width tool is pretty great because he used to not be able to do this stuff in Illustrator. And to kind of make this, you had to like draw the line and make it kind of look how you want it to look here. Okay, so let's kind of bring it all together here and see what we've got. So I'm going to get rid of this locked layer and that way I can see my guy. I want to add this black stroke on there. to make this just a little bit thinner and then same thing I'm just gonna go in and grab my width tool whoops and make this a little bit more interesting here golly I keep grabbing the wrong tool I think it's because the rotate tool it looks like I should be able to make that Oh, I can't because I've already, never mind. I can't do that. I've already added this uh, brush on there and that's why it won't let me do it. That's okay. We'll do black for this. Um, and then I also want to make a fill here. So we'll do a white fill for those teeth. And then I'm actually going to uh, put that underneath and I'm going to bring this line up here. So I'm going to grab my Bezier, just bring that up like that. And I actually want to bump this up a little bit too. And then last thing I do want to fix this part here and combine these and then I'm just gonna smooth them out so I'm gonna grab my shape builder tool combine these together here and then I'm gonna grab my smooth tool and just kind of smooth that out because I don't really like that lump here so sometimes with the smooth tool it will do what you want but if you want it to be a little bit more drastic you kind of have to go in and adjust it so I'm just gonna grab my direct selection tool and then I'm gonna select that like that Okay, so you can play around with uh, you can do different colors if you want, um, adjust different things here. But these will be some good good techniques here for uh, making our cartoon.